Once, long ago, there was a shadow. This was not the shadow of a bird or a rock or a mountain or a tree. It was not the shadow of a person or a leaf or a house. It was a shadow all its own with nothing to tether it and thus free to wander. But being a shadow, it was empty and not tethered to anything. It had nothing to tether it down nothing to fill it, to keep it stable. And thus it needed to feed. And the shadow, like all things, fed on those things that were most like it, the things of its same substance. It fed on other shadows. If the shadow came to you, and took away that which you had lived with all your life without ever truly noticing or appreciating it, you would not feel it at first. You would not notice. But soon, you would start to gray, to grow shallow, to grow thin inside. You would be missing something that you did not understand or know how to fill. And then, before all too long at all, you would simply wither away, as all who are missing an essential part of themselves eventually do. The shadow cared nothing for this. It was feeding, after all. It had nothing inside of itself. No love, no warmth, no happiness. It simply had an emptiness, a hollow that it had to fill. And so it took, and it took, and it took, and people faded away in its path. One day the shadow, slinking across the ground, found a home filled with warmth and light. And where these things existed, there were shadows cast by the light. And so it slimmed its way up along the wall of the house. It thinned itself underneath the window sill. It crawled and slithered along the ground until it found the shadow of a woman who was at this moment resting her elbows on the rim of a baby's carriage, she was gazing down at this baby, and the light that was cast on the other side of its crib was giving her a long and full shadow. She did not notice as a second shadow appeared behind her, for there was nothing to cast it, nothing to draw her eye. She did not notice as her shadow was slowly gobbled up by another. The baby saw. The baby saw much, but being a baby, it was unable to do anything about this. The world was big and dark and scary. A strange shadow was not the only frightening thing in it. The baby was scared by so much, and this was just another thing to be scared by. Another thing that its mother slowly and surely softened its fear away from it. Its mother calmed the baby and sang to it. And as she did her, so, her love filled her heart, filled her almost to bursting, filled her more than could be contained in her. And for the first time in its long existence, the other shadow found itself having accidentally eaten something other than another shadow. Of course, it did not notice at first. It simply thought itself having found a particularly ripe and full meal. But instead of slinking away like it usually did, it found itself perplexingly drawn to the two living things in that room, particularly of the strange child in the crib. It had seen babies before, of course. 
Their shadows were small, sometimes good for a snack, but rarely did she bother her, did the shadow bother herself with it. She could take this baby's shadow. She could eat it up in one single bite. But she did not. She told herself she was full, after all, but was not truly the reason, for why else would she not have gone away? Why else did she linger in that room, hiding behind the shadows of things like lamps and candles and the small twinkling carriages above the crib, filled with stars and cows and happy people, all carved of wood and dangling from strings as they danced above the baby. Shadow lingered. It watched as the mother cared for the child. It watched as she cared for it, even as she grew thin and shallow. Even as she began to wither away, the shadow stayed, and it felt things it had never felt, for it had never truly felt anything at all before other than hunger and emptiness. But it felt now, as the mother passed away and gave the last of her strength to her baby. As the mother lay there, willing herself to last longer, to last long enough to care for that child. Even as others came to care for the infant in her weakness, the mother still tried with every last inch of her strength. The shadow felt the same thing the mother felt as she passed away, looking at her baby. So the shadow stayed and lingered in that house. There is more to this story, but it shall have to wait for another time.